coming up on Mountain Bike Chronicles. We follow World Cup points leader Aaron Gwynn on his journey from the US Open in New Jersey to the prestigious World Cup stop in Fort William, Scotland. All this and more coming up on Mountain Bike Chronicles. We're in Vernon, New Jersey, home of the Diablo Mountain Bike Park and the US Open Downhill Race. World Cup leader Aaron Gwynn is racing this weekend. Yeah, US Open for me is uh, it's a new experience. I guess I've never been here before, actually, so it's, uh, it's a cool deal. It's cool to race in uh, front of a hometown crowd. Races like that, I guess, are always a little extra special to you. I think I'm good. I pretty much just wanted this amazing stuff. Chef's gonna be stoked on those. Gotta keep the mechanics happy. Gwyn's mechanic is Chris Monkey Vasquez. He is a 24 season veteran of the World Cup circuit. This is sort of a, a lead into the World Cup at uh, Fort William in Scotland. Pretty important for the boys. Uh, Aaron leading the World Cup points overall after a win in South Africa, which was really good. After only two years on the pro circuit, Gwyn became the first American in 12 years to win a World Cup downhill race. Back at their condo, Gwyn joins his teammates on the morning of the second day of practice at the U.S. Open. It's been good. We just came over here for a few weeks to try to get some Europe-like conditions before the European World Cup starts. For me, I want to do good but I would just want to stay safe and keep building for next weekend in Fort William. That's like the big goals are World Cups, obviously, so you know, you'd feel kind of silly if you got hurt at a smaller race like this. It's the 10th anniversary of the Fort William World Cup in Scotland. With the race being a week away, crews have been hard at work perfecting the track. Over the last 10 years, we've been working to build one of the best mountain bike events in the world. The Fort William World Cup is legendary. Many consider it to be the best race of the year. The downhill course is very technical, a lot of good sections. Riders love it. For me, I love going there and it's just like every time I go ride that track, I just get such a buzz, it's so fast. 19-year-old Danny Hart has never been on the podium here, but has grown up riding the course. A good venue for me, I drive there with my, my family in the camper and we have a good weekend. You know, Fort William's um, a big race for me, racing in front of a home crowd. Last year I managed to, to win the World Cup there, which was the first time. I'm hoping for, for bigger and better things this year. Oh, the fans. <laughs> the fans are awesome. They're the ones that make the event really happen. Almost 18, 20,000 people here every year just screaming for every ride that comes down the hill. I managed to win here in 2005 and the feeling of the crowd cheering for you when you dropped into the finish area is absolutely unreal. I've never felt anything like it in my life. Steve Pete's teammate Greg Menard has won three times at Fort William and hopes to make it four this year. With such a deep roster of riders, it's anyone's game at Fort William. It's race day at the US Open, and Jack Griesbeck has seen the event grow from day one. When we came on the scene, nobody was really offering that. A large scale downhill gravity race with a large pro purse, it had kind of gone away from where riding had been in the late 90s. I wasn't really around back then, but it seems like uh, the race scene out here faded off pretty hard. You can definitely see it growing in the last few years, the amount of other mountains that have decided mountain biking is a viable business opportunity has led to the growth of the sport. And then you couple that with a rider like Aaron Gwynn, homegrown here in the States, having success on the international scene, and it's a win-win for everybody. I'm just glad to see it getting bigger here again, and there's some other kids coming up underneath me that are really fast. We'll see a couple more wins from them. Downhill racing is going to become a lot more popular, and it's just going to help the sport. Gwynn's run is up next. I heard USA in the Rock Gardens. I'm like, here comes Gwen. Gwen was flying down the track. He became the first American to ever win at the US Open. Yeah, just cool to win in the US in front of the hometown fans and 
Good weekend, just fun. Glad to be safe and all right. <laughs> Teammate Justin Leo placed third, rounding out a successful weekend for the Trek World Racing Team. Pack up tonight and then tomorrow we head out to Scotland for the next World Cup in uh, Fort William. Just try to keep the ball rolling and have a good time, so I am looking forward to it. After arriving in Glasgow, Gwyn still has a three-hour drive to Fort William. Luckily, his team is already set up. Gwyn checks out the course with his teammates. And it actually can be the best World Cup each year. Yeah. Just one of the classics. Yeah. I iconic. Gwyn's teammate, 18-year-old Nicholas Mullally, has never been to Fort William before. It's really awesome being on the team with Aaron. He really um, takes the time to, to give me some tips and give me some insight. This section's good, it's just when it rains, like all these things get pretty slippery. It's just really cool to be riding with the best guy in the world and be able to learn from him. This has been the most epic track walk in my life. Seriously, that took more than three hours, I think. <laughs> pretty special race for the season. Definitely going to be a good effort of a race run here. The race is underway in Fort William, and the top riders must wait until the end of the day before they can compete for the podium. Being the defending World Cup overall champ, G. Atherton gets a lot of attention at every race. Expectations are high from fans and G himself. He has to put all of it behind him and focus on the course. He's not his regular self and fails to crack the top three. He's having trouble matching last year's success and will have to wait until next weekend's race to try again. Yeah, my race run got a little bit wild quite a couple of times. You need to be going like that, you know, you can't just have a good run down the hill and expect to get, get on the podium. You, know, you need to be putting on the line and risking everything you've got. That's what I did and it worked out for me, so I was happy with it. Hart takes the lead. With two riders left, Hart could win a World Cup for the first time in front of a hometown crowd. This morning we got up and um, did a couple of practice runs. He was even going faster than yesterday, so I was like, well, if, if Gwynny stays on, he's going to annihilate everyone. With everything coming down to one run, a lot goes into Gwyn being race ready. Practice runs, carefully chosen lines, and a finely tuned bike. At the base of it all is veteran mechanic Chris Monkey Vasquez. She's holding up pretty good. It's Fort William. It means we go through a lot of wheels here. It's a little rocky out there. Guys are hitting things at uh, breakneck speed, but boys seem to be happy. Actually, I haven't really ridden that bike on a really rough track yet. Yeah, it works really good, so I'm, yeah, I'm stoked. The most gratifying thing to me is when we achieve that goal and we win that championship, we're gonna see what we can do to work on one for Gwynny here. Yep, feeling good, just uh, gonna head up now. Top of the hill and give her. The last two riders remain, and tensions are high. Veteran downhill champ Greg Minar started the year off with a second place finish and is always considered a threat. Yeah. 
the 30-year-old three-time world champion looks good from top to bottom and takes the lead. It all comes down to the current overall leader, Aaron Gwynn. He takes an early lead by almost a whole second and gains speed and time with each checkpoint. victim to his own speed and crashes midway down the mountain. Thanks to a blistering first half, he manages to hold on to fifth place despite the fall. It's a good run. We're just chilling out a little bit. Got my style up. Got to hold it up. It's amazing to have my friends and my family there. Hopefully it's the start of good things to come. Minar takes the win, but not all was lost as Trek World Racing wins the overall team title at Fort William. Minar has climbed into the top spot. Gwyn is not far off in second place, while Atherton is in third. On the next episode of Mountain Bike Chronicles, we head to Leogang, Austria for the third race of the season and follow the young guns of the World Cup circuit. All this and more on the next episode of Mountain Bike Chronicles.